Hi everyone, how you doing today? It's Dr. Adishina again from ftplectures.com. I'm very excited because I'll be talking to you today about cranial nerves. I love cranial nerves. Oh boy, Whew. it's best thing ever. They're so easy to memorize. We're gonna break it down and simplify it for you as usual. Now, I love mnemonics and we're gonna learn these beautiful mnemonics that you will never forget. I promise you, once you learn this mnemonic, game over, all right? So, now, we know there are 12 cranial nerves, correct? There's 12 of them. So, since there are 12 of them, we're going to have to put a mnemonic on the board. So, uh, I'm going to break this board into six. So, the first six is going to be here, and the second six is going to be here. Now, one, two, three, if you can count, four, five, six. Let's go here. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, well, look at that. One to twelve. Come on, guys. Don't tell me this is not easy. You should be able to know twelve stuff. You can count one to twelve. This is easy. Yeah, but med school never does that. They, they never make it so easy for you. So, you know, that's why I'm here. So let's learn the mnemonic. And the mnemonic goes like this. O, 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 to touch and feel a girl's veil, such happiness. Hmm. Let's check that out. I said, O, 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 to touch and feel a girl's veil such happiness. You can change the veil with violin, any V word you feel comfortable putting at. But the point is, can you imagine, oh, 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 to touch and feel a girl's veil. You know, not a lot of people get to touch a girl's veil. If you get to, good for you. You feel very, such happiness. Well, if you remember that, that's pretty much it, guys. Now, let's put in what we need to actually know as medical students, nursing students, healthcare professionals. So this actually makes a lot more sense. And I'm going to put some clinical pearls because that's what I do. So this is just not a memorization routine. You actually know what patients present with when they have a dysfunction. It's going to be a little bit of neurology inserted into this lecture. And it's going to be like, let me get a little tea with toast, please. That's right. So the first nerve, which has O, is known as the olfactory nerve. Olfactory nerve. And the next nerve, which is the O, is the optic nerve. The second O, right, O, 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 is oculomotor nerve. T stands for trochlear, the trochlear nerve, okay, to touch and, okay, so, oh, 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 we've got, and number five is trigeminal, the trigeminal nerve is the fifth nerve, okay, and is abducens. Abducens nerve, number six. So we've got L, L, L to touch and let's feel, in order to feel, that's the facial nerve, the facial nerve. And number eight is, the number eight used to be known as the auditory, okay? That's why it's A and, okay, feel a girl, but since we don't call it the auditory nerve, you know, like your mom will probably know the answer to that, okay? So we don't want them to know, so we call it the vestibulocochlear nerve because it has the vestibular nerve and the cochlear nerve, which is for here, we're gonna talk about it later, right? That's the vestibular cochlear. So you have to remember that number eight is auditory, but the new name is the vestibulocochlear nerve. And the G is the glossopharyngeal 
pharyngeal nerve. That is number nine. That's the girl, okay? And number 10, the veil is the vagus nerve. The vagus, I like that. Vagus, now it's kind of making a statement, okay? And S, which is number 11, is the spinal thalamic nerve. The spinal thalamic nerve, okay? I'm sorry. I take that back. The spinal accessory nerve. The spinal accessory nerve. The spi that, that's no spinal thalamic nerve. My apologies for that. Uh, that is the spinal accessory nerve, which we're going to talk about. And the last one is the hypoglossal nerve. A hypoglossal nerve. And that's it, guys. Very, very straightforward. Oh, oh, oh. To touch and feel a girl's veil. Oh, such happiness. Okay? All right. Now, what does this all...